diagonal step practice. So for the students that did it on the weekend class, this is a chance for you to practice the step. And for anyone that missed class last week, this is the step that we practiced and used. So again, this is a good chance for you to practice. And if you haven't done it before, then give it a go. You can practice by yourself. But if you have someone with you, then that's even better because you can do the drill together. So, you just need to imagine that there's a V shape in front of you. Your feet are gonna end up on the diagonal lines. So we're gonna move slightly backwards and then back to our original position, our basic stance. If you don't know basic stance, I'll link a video of that in the description. And it's important that you return to your basic stance every time because really when you're doing this, it's about positioning and alignment. You're gonna find it a lot easier to maintain your correct positioning and the correct footwork if you return back to your starting position every time. Whichever direction you're moving in, you're gonna step the foot on that side first. So if we're going slightly to our left, you're gonna step your left foot first. If you're going slightly to your right, you're gonna step your right foot first. When we're moving backwards, we're just gonna have our hands pulled back. When we move forwards, we're gonna do it with a strike. So we're gonna do it with our basic punch. Let's do 10 going backwards to our left first. One, and back. Two, back. Three, back. Four, back. Five, back. Six, back. Seven, back. Eight, back. Nine, back, 10, back, other side, one, back, two, back, three, back, four, back, five, back, six, back, seven, Back, eight, back, nine, back, ten, back. Now we're gonna move forward. So now we're gonna add in a strike. We're gonna add in our basic punch. So just the elbow stays down as we're striking. So if you're moving forward now with your right foot, you're gonna punch with your left hand. And if you're moving forward with your left foot, you're gonna punch with your right hand. So let's do 10 again. I'll start off slow. Don't rush it. Let's think about positioning. One. Back. Two. Back. Three. Back. Four. Back. Five. Back. Six. Back. Seven back, eight, back, nine, back, ten, back, one, back, two, back, three, back, four, back, five, back, six, back, seven, back, eight, back, nine, back, ten, back. Okay, if you've got that and there's more than one person, then you can give it a go. One person punching and the other person just using the footwork to cut the angle. So make sure when you cut the angle, you're stepping to the outside of their punch. So if someone's punching with this hand, you'd move to the outside over here. If you step to the inside of the punch, then you'll be setting yourself up for the second strike. So with this step, we're cutting the angle to the outside of the punch. So you can do exactly the same two movements, returning back to your stance every time, but you can give it a go with a partner now. 